نحمده و نسلی على رسوله الكریم اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ once again with the extreme mercy of Allah سبحانہ تعالی we are gathered here and inshallah we are going to continue with آیہ نمبر 104 so basically this آیہ is starting the Ruku number 13. So Alhamdulillah, we have finished Ruku number 12. And now we are starting Ruku number 13. And this is the first ayah of the Ruku. So, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, la taqoolu ra'ina, wa qoolu nzurna, wa sma'u. Wa lil kafirina azaabun alim. O you who believed, do not say Raina and say Unzurna. Wasmau and listen. And and for the disbelievers is a punishment painful. So O oh, you who have believed, say not to Allah's Messenger, to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Raina, but say Unzurna and listen. And for the disbeliever is a painful punishment. A Iman Walu. گفتگو کے وقت پیغمبر خدا سے رائینہ نہ کہا کرو انذرنہ کہا کرو اور خوب سن رکھو کہ کافروں کے لیے دکھ دینے والا عذاب ہے now you must have noticed that both of these words رائینہ ونذرنہ they did not translate here they did not give us the meaning but انشاءاللہ we will look into the meaning in a minute so basically today maybe I just want to show you the the Urdu version a little bit uh, before we get into this uh, grammatical analysis. So, because we will find more meaning here. Eh logo, eh wo logo, jo iman lai ho, tum raina, aap se riyat, aap hum se riyayat kare, mat kaho, aur tum unzurna, aap hume dekhe kaho, aur tum suno. So, yahaan par jo raina ka jo matlab hai, uh, we can look at it. First of all, there is Ya Ayyuhal Lazina. So, if you are familiar with the concept of uh, Nada Munadi, harf, harf Nida, this Ya is Harf Nida. Do you guys remember from previous lectures, we talked about it, when you want yeah. to say, Oh Muhammad, or Ya Oh, uh, oh Ibrahim. So, you have a Harf Nida. And after the Harf Nida, you have Munada, the person you are calling out to. So when you see Allazina, is Allazina referring to masculine? Yes. 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 So, so in that case, you will find Ya Ayyuhal. Ya Ayyuhal Lazina. Yeah. So there is a Ya, there is Ayyu, and there is Ha. There are three words separately. See, there is a Ya Ayyuha Allazina Amanu. So who are we calling out to? The people. O Iman Walo, the people who believed. So if these were feminine, if there was a feminine uh, here, then it, 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 it would have been Ya Ayyat Ayyu 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 uh, Ayyu well, I can't say it. For the feminine, there is a Ta there. Ayyu Taha Ayyu Taha Ayyu Taha Ayyu Taha Allazina or Allati So you will, this is the difference between a masculine and feminine. So, yeah, ayyuh al is for male and there is a ta for the, the female. So what is the story behind this ayah or what is the message behind this ayah? So before we get into that, let's just look at some of the words here so that we get them out of the way. So ya is harf nida. And the, in Urdu we will call eh. Jo Urdu me kehte eh logo, eh iman walo. So ayyuha. اگر منادہ پر ال داخل ہو تو کیا کرتے ہیں اس کے مذکر کے لیے یا کے بعد ایوہا لگاتے ہیں right that's what I was trying to explain اللہ زینہ آمنو کون ہے منادہ جن کو پکارا گیا وہ کون ہے اللہ زینہ آمنو وہ لوگ جو ایمان لائے اللہ زینہ وہ لوگ آمنو ایمان والے اور یہ آمنو کہاں سے بنا آمنا یؤمنو سے بنا اور مستر کیا اس کا ایمانا ایمانا ایمان لانا وہ ایمان لائے اے وہ لوگو جو ایمان لائے ہو لا تقولو 
अब अगर आपको इफ यू रिमेम्बर दी तकुलू इज फेल मुदार सो यू डोंट से सो दिस इज ए नेगेटिव फेल मुदार दिस इज ए वर्बल सेंटेंस एंड इट इज ए फेल मुदार एंड बिफोर फेल मुदार if you may you want to make it negative you have to say la, la. if you would have to make fe'l madi then before the the verb or the verbal sentence you will say ma yes yeah. so la taqulu fe'l nahi hai that means it's a ne- negative and it's a negation jama muzakkar hazir qala yaqulu so when you see taqulu this is the second person plural yes Yeah. For, for masculine right and it's from qala yaqulu masdar qawlan kehna tum sab mat kaho what is the meaning of la taqulu tum sab mat kaho yeah yeah okay then let's see raina taqulu taqulu is brother uh, abit siga number 3 is siga number no. you know is siga number 9 uh, Nine, yeah. right? Nine, because yeah, it's the yeah. male, the third one, yeah. right? Okay. So this word raina, it's from uh, the root words are ra, alif, ain, and there is na, and this is one of the weak ver- verbs, right? And when the weak verbs, uh, the rules are applied, you become ra, yura, e, and masdar is muraatan. मतलब रियायत करना आप रियायत करें जमीर जमा मुतकलम हम आप आप हमसे रियायत करें ओके सो अंडरस्टैंड दिस यू कैन थिंक अबाउट लाइक दिस दैट यू आर लिसनिंग टू समबडी इन अ गैदरिंग एंड एंड यू आर नॉट एबल टू पे अटेंशन एंड यू मिस्ड व्हाट द द द द स्पीकर सेड एंड देन यू से कुड यू प्लीज रिपीट इट कुड यू प्लीज यू नो एक्सक्यूज मी कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी व्हाट यू जस्ट सेड right because of your own shortcoming that you were not paying attention or you were not listening properly and then when when the person is done talking and then you request them that could you please give us some attention and give you know you know excuse me i did not hear can you please repeat is that clear mm, yes yeah. okay so inshallah i'm coming to the point why why you say but and then another thing is in language sometimes we have words they sound similar but the similar sounding words they have different meanings a good meaning and a bad meaning and sometimes people in in order to mess up with other people they would say the word of the wrong meaning intentionally to hurt their feelings to humiliate them but when the person notices that that they they said the wrong one and he if he question them or if he if he argues about it they say no 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 you misunderstood me i was trying to say the the good word the other one did you get my point yes okay yes. so over here the the munafiqeen when they made this word a little bit longer if they had raina you know when they make the e the ain with the kasra longer then the meaning change from uh, you know pay attention to me to a um, shepherd yeah right yeah. so basically those people when they were in the gathering because of their you know their uh, attitude or the bad manners w- when the sahaba used to say raina they used to say raina o oh, our charwahe or o oh, our shepherd you know just to intentionally humiliate him and if somebody heard that and somebody objects to that then say no 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 we were trying to say raina you heard me wrong maybe something is wrong with your hearing did you get the point here yes so th- with this background let's go back to this so the first thing you should notice here that all this time in the upper verses the kalam or the khatab or the the person these ayas were pointed towards the munafiqeen yes yeah. but over here the 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 mood or the conversation change it's it's coming to ya ayyuhal ladina amanu so over here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to the mu'minin yes. especially the sahaba and there is a lesson in this verse that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching the sahabas that when you are talking to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam don't use certain words 
which have also have a bad connotation, which gives a chance to the other people to abuse it and use the wrong word. And then they claim innocence that they know, no, they, we didn't say Raina, we, we meant Raina. Follow? So if you even yeah. don't bring that into the conversation, this will not give the chance uh, an opportunity yeah. to the people who wants uh, who wants to hurt the the feelings of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Instead, they should say Unzurna. So this is sort of a, a lesson Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is teaching to the Sahabas or the Mu'minin who was around the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so, so he, he, the message is: Don't say Raina to the Prophet. Instead, you say Kulu Unzurna. Kulu and listen and also pay attention so that you don't even have to say the sorry i missed it can you repeat it right don't bother the prophet and then the next sentence is pretty straightforward that walil kafirina azabun ali yeah so far so good yeah okay, okay. so far so good okay good so if we look at the uh, the uh, the grammar. So we just talked about that. Ya ayuha lazina is unada. So there is a harfenida. Ya yeah. is the uh, harfenida, and then ayuha for because of us masculine, right? So alazina amanu. This is a sila isme mosula, and after isme mosula, we need to find the sila, and sila is normally a verbal sentence. So amanu here is a verbal sentence. Yeah. Okay. Is it um, uh, like, okay, so there is a verb and there is a file. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this is the fail Madi, right? Amanu? Yes. Yes. And how do we understand this? It's because from the Aslama Yuslimu if Alun pattern. Yeah. And this is what Amana Yuminu, Amin, Muminun, Momanun, Imanun. This is where the word is coming from, right? Okay, so then la takulu, takulu is another verbal sentence of mudare, uh, and the la is the negative, right? We just talked about that. It's a, a la. What did you call in Arabic? La. No, no, yeah. no, no, nahi. yeah. Yes, nahi, right? So this is saying, do not say. What do What do you do not say? O mumineen, raina. Now is raina also have? There is a. Uh, there is a file and it's a verb, by the way, right? There is a verb and this na is the maful bihi? Yes. 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 So who are the anta is the file? Yes. Yes. Okay. So there is another verbal sentence over here. So ya ayu la zina la takulu raina. So is everybody clear on the grammar? Like how yes. these are little verbal sentences and these verbal sentences have verb and the the fail and the file and then this also has the maful bihi yeah okay and the details are right here uh you can see allazina is a isme mosul in uh, our, in english we call it relative uh, pronoun allazina is known as relative and is donated by or do not do not, uh, is you the, the words we are using is rel okay amanu as you can see is a fail madi now fail madi we know that there is a home but the Zamir is known as the wow. Yes? Yeah. So, so if, you, if you have to be specific, you say the, the Zamir is wow. But in your mind, you know that is coming from the hum because you are taking the suffix from the hum. And it is a Zamir Mutasil because hum was a detached pronoun. But when you took the wow out of that, then what did you do? You attached it with the with the verb, right? Yeah. Then it becomes attached pronoun of the Rafa type because if you remember about the attached pronouns in the beginning we said we when we were on a, a basic level we said the attached pronouns are only of nasab and jar status yes yeah. but later on we also learned that they're also of the uh, rafa status but in the rafa status what they do they borrow some suffixes from the detached pronouns and those suffixes are known as the attached pronouns is that clear yeah so wow is for whom and the alif is for huma yeah so yeah. la is harfe nahi it's a prohibition particle takulu is a second person masculine 
plural imperfect verb imperfect mean this is madare madare okay when we say this is majzum when we say fe'l mudare majzum if you remember there are three flavors of fe'l mudare one of them is regular and one of them is lighter uh, and one of them is the lightest yeah right because in some one sometime we make we drop the noon and sometime we put a jazm on it making sense okay so yes. you see there is a noon is missing here yeah and we are stopping at the taqulu if you remember the 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 table is should be taquluna taquluna yeah yeah okay this raina is a fe'l amr because there is a there is a order or there is a request are they saying that please excuse me or pay attention to me they are asking requesting rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to do something so this is a fe'l amr and with the na zamir muttasil fi mahl nasab maful bihi now what detail you get from this fi mahl nasab maful bihi because maful bihi is supposed to be in what status nasab nasab now sometime or in in arabic language we can tell the status by either by knowing the actual word the noun or the position of that noun what does that mean the position of the noun, that noun if a noun is mabni for example if a noun is mabni what is meaning of mabni if if that noun stays the same in all three same. statuses yes mm -hmm. so how would we know that it is is a rafa nasab or jar so we can tell that if it's in the place if it was if it's placed in a location where it's supposed to be a location of which belongs to a nasab then that noun would be called fi mahalle nasab is that clear is that yes yeah. yeah. okay good so this is what's going on here okay the next one kulu kulun zurna and say unzurna so this kulu is also fi'l amr yes okay and because of this wow we know that this is zamir muttasil fi mahli rafa file because this wow is the file yes yes and it is derived from home it is taken out of home yes 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 and it is it is attached because the wow is attached to the verb now the home can be attached to the verb no right because the detached pronouns cannot be attached right they used to be separate so we say hum who are muslim who are hum uh, huma muslimani hum muslimuna okay so over here there is a verb and a file and the file is anta yes yeah okay and unzurna is also verb maful and file you you say right unzurna yeah okay so this is the verbal sentence and this is also a verbal sentence wasmau this is another command right and listen yeah is it uh, attached or matuf because of the wow what are the two things you do yeah you say kulu unzurna wa asma wasmau and listen yeah so over here this wow will be called istinafia why istinafia because it is the starting of a new sentence however this wow will be known as atifa because this is in the middle of the sentence yeah yeah and we talked about it few times right so you can see yeah. this is wow istinafia this fe'l amr wow zamir muttasil fi mahli rafa file so this is how an arabic book of grammar will explain the file they will give you all the detail that it is a wow it is zamir and it is muttasil which is attached and it is in the place of in the location of where a rafa needs to be and why a file is rafa because we know that the rule of grammar tells us that file is supposed to be rafa okay in here fe'l amr wow is the file exactly right wow is the file and is na the is the nasab maful bihi is this maful bihi the na over here yes yes and this is wow atifa al wow atifa and then fe'l amr wow zamir muttasil fi mahli rafa file 
So over here, do we know that this wow is the file? Yeah. Okay, good. So, walil kafirina azabun alim. Okay, now back to our basics. Uh, jumla ismiya. Jumla ismiya can have a khabar muqaddam and mubtada muakhar. Agree? Yes. yes sir. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now refresh our memory. We, in a jumla ismiya, we have khabar, we have mubtada, and we have khabar. And we also have mutalik. Mutalik is jar majroor. Yes? Yeah. Or a shibu jumla. Or a shibu jumla, yeah. right? What is a shibu jumla? Shibu jumla could be a special kind of mudaf, mudaf of time, or mudaf of place, and then mudaf in a lake. So with that combination is known as shibu jumla. Now, sometime the khabar is missing, but then the mutalik khabar can become the substitute khabar. Yes? Yeah. So in this sentence, yeah. is lame jara this red one? Is this harfe jar? Yes. Okay. And kafirin is the ism majrur. Ism majrur. So this is jar majrur, right? Yeah. And this wow is also istanafia, right? Because the new sentence starting. New yeah. sentence starting. So lil kafirina in a mubtada. This is if this is. Can we call this khabar? Yeah. Okay. And is it in the beginning or in the end? Beginning. Beginning. So, can we say this is khabar muqaddam? What does muqaddam mean? Something Beginning. which was brought in the front. Yeah. Right? Yes. Right? So, this is khabar muqaddam. So, if khabar is muqaddam, then the muqtada will be muakhar. Muakhar means delayed. Yes? Yeah. Or easy term afterwards. Yeah? yeah. Now, azabun alim is it like a sifa masuf? Yeah. Painful yes. punishment? Yeah. Okay. Now refresh your memory. When we were le uh, learning the murakabat, how many murakabats we learned? Uh, murakabe nakisa are four. Murakabe jari, murakabe ishari, murakabe tosifi, murakabe izafi. Why did we learn that in context to Jumla Ismiya? Because we wanted to know which murakabat can be can act as muptada and which murakabat can act as khabar yes so we learn that murakabe tosifi which is this azabun alimun is murakabe tosifi yes murakabe yes. tosifi can act as a muptada and murakabe tosifi can also act as khabar yes murakabe yes. izafi can act as a muptada and murakkab izafi can act as a khabar. So in this sentence, based on the the, the concept that there is a khabar muqaddam, so lil kafirina is the khabar muqaddam, and azabun alimun, because of it is a murakkab tawsifi, together they are the mubtada. Mubtada. Mubtada muakhar. So this is a nominal sentence. Yeah? yeah. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. azabun alimun. Why is it murakkab tosifi? Because if you analyze all four properties of the noun, are they both in rafa status? Yes. Yeah. Are they both male? Yeah. Are yes. they both singular? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they are both marifa. No. No, nakira. Sorry. They are both nakira. And the the conditions for murakkab tosif is that in all four properties of the noun they need to follow each other. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. So this is what it is uh, that il waos tenafia lil kafirina is jar majrur azabun is the uh, sifa uh, sorry uh, alim is the sifa and mosuf is the azabun. Yes. That's why there's a the arrow is going this way because alimun is the painful punishment, right? So that's what it is all about. Uh, over here, let's take a look at. We looked at takulu. We looked at amanu, and let's look at takulu. It's basically from kala, yakulu, and the the bab nasara, right? So kala yakulu kul kailun. Makulun, kaulun, kawalun. Yes. So these are some of the variations of this um, 
Okay, there is a little bit of noise from somebody's mic. Uh, is it, uh, which one could it be? Okay. All right. So maybe I'll mute you. If you need to talk, just press the space bar and just say it, right? Okay. Then let's look at uh, we, we, this uh, Takulu and this Kulu. It's the same thing, right? Yeah, right? This was Mudare and this is the Let's see. So it's the same thing. Yeah. Jama Muzakkar, active wife, second person. And that means and say. So it's a fele amal. Yeah. Okay. What else? Unzurna is from Bab Nasara. Yeah. Yanzuru unzur fele amr. Nazirun manzurun nazrun. And nazirun. Yeah. What else? Wasmau from Bab Samia. Right, Samia Yasmau, Samia Yasmau, Isma Samiun, Masmuun, Samun Samiun. Yeah, is also from Bab Aslama Yuslimu. We have Wasmau. It is a Padoga. K. Kushlog Jaldi Mekate, Kenachate, Assalamu Alaikum, Lekin Wokate, Sam Alaikum. Abne Sunauga Yellow. So I, I need somebody to interact with me a little bit. Yes. Right? Yes. So when you say Samalikum, it means that it's the death of the death. It's the death of the death. It's the death of the death. So it's also the death of the death. It's the death of the death. And it's the death of the death. So Alhamdulillah, we've seen all the death of the death. So Alhamdulillah, we've seen all the death of the death. So Alhamdulillah, we've seen all the death of the death. So we've seen all the death of the death. और यहाँ पे हमने पढ़ लिया है कि ए ईमान वालों ए वो लोगों जो ईमान लाए हो तुम राई ना कि मतलब आप हमसे रियायत करें मत कहो तुम उन्जर ना कह उन्जर ना कहो और तुम सुनो ठीक है आप सलासन की बात ध्यान से सुनो और जो काफिर हैं उनके लिए दर्दनाक सुभानक अल्लाहुम्मा Wabi Hamdika wa nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu alayhi Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu